Howdy. Back to discuss real quick the King of the Hill PC game and how to get it to run. It's a question I get a lot from people who discover this game, as I did many, many years ago, and are shocked and appalled and delighted, maybe, I don't know. It, it's just weird to discover this game exists, and a lot of people find out it exists, and immediately ask uh, on my other videos about this game, uh, how did you do this? How do you get it to run? I've tried every other way that, you know, most PC games that you find about online uh, are fairly easy to get running. If you have an ISO and you have a PC, you can just get it going, but this not with this game. And I'm going to discuss what you need, uh, and you're probably not going to like it. It's going to be a little, you're going to be, um, it's going to be a thing disappointing for most people who really want to know, like, how do I just get this game running right now? Because uh, unfortunately, it's it's not that easy. Uh, the game was released in 2000. It's a um, it's a collection of mini games that were developed for the web using Mac, a program called Macromedia Director, which exports into a format called Macromedia Shockwave. And basically, it was a kind of a, same thing as Flash. It was a way to get you know to make an interactive thing and put it on a web page and make it uh, make it play. And it used to be that Shockwave files, like Flash files, used to, used to just work in a browser if you had the right plugin for Macromedia, but it doesn't work anymore. This, that's very old technology at this point for, the, for, uh, for making games. No one does it. In fact, they, like Shockwave went away well before Flash did. Like people just stopped using it because, um, well, I don't know why exactly. It was just, uh, I dabbled in that a bit back then. I could tell you it, it has a scripting language, language called Lingo, and the game was... Um, yeah, it was built in that, and it was just, it was okay for a while. So they made web games, they collected them onto a PC version you could buy a box of, uh, and that's what we're going to be looking at now. So, yeah, the King of the Hill PC game here, it uh, has a page on Amazon. I don't know if you'll find copies of it. We're going to poke real quick at some of the reviews, which I thought were pretty funny. Um, you can see here, like, a um, sincere review from 2000 says this game is a one-star uh, yeah, this game is monotonous, it has games, same remarks, same everything, okay. And then somebody discovers it more recent. I mean, this is 2014, but I think this is the general reaction these days is, oh my god, this exists, what the heck is this? So it's on Amazon for sale sometimes, and that gets into the first thing you need to play this game. So the people, so people ask, like, I have the ISO, it won't run. I have, I burned a CD from that ISO that I found on the internet, it won't run. And that's the problem, that's the core problem with this game is you cannot have an ISO, you cannot have uh, a burned CD, you need, you need this right here, there it is. You need the original game, or at the very least you need the original uh, disc, this right here. You can see there, it's the King of the, it's the original King of the Hill PC game and disc. Um, this, you know, this copy has the manual and the jewel case and all that other stuff, but you just need that disc. Uh, and because you need the disc, that means you need one of these bad boys, a physical CD-ROM drive. Now this is, um, a modern drive that also runs DVD and Blu-ray. So, uh, it's something a little more recent, but it does work with CD. So, so there you go. First thing you need, if you really want to play this game, is you need the physical original CD and you need a drive to run that CD. Uh, so that leads to the next question is like, all right, well, where do you get a copy? And like I said, Amazon sometimes has copies for sale. Uh, more likely though, it's on eBay, but that leads to another problem. Now, I actually own multiple copies of this because I originally bought it. Uh, do I have it here? Yeah, I do. I originally bought this much jankier copy the CD is already in the drive, but you can see it's just a, it's a busted old jewel case. It had a copy of the game in there. Initially, that was enough. And then I bought this other copy that you see here with the manual, and then I have another copy of the big box PC with everything in it. So I have three copies. But when I was buying these copies of the game, they were not the prices you see on the screen here. This is eBay now, and you can see here that somebody wants to sell it with original box for 135. Somebody wants to sell it for 160. Um, you can see here someone's selling the case and manual only for 20 bucks, which, I mean, again, the whole point of playing it is you need that disc. 
Um, I'm betting this same seller is the one who decided to sell the disc alone. And you can see here, they're trying to sell it for six, or 59 bucks, 60 bucks, basically. Uh, somebody here is trying to sell a copy, just like the one I showed you, for 78 bucks. I mean, so it's ridiculous. Like, I, I, think, I think this is the case for all uh, game video games these days, older games. Uh, everyone just decided, like, oh, they're much more valuable now. Um, I don't know who's paying these prices. Well, I guess if you're like me and you really, really want to own a copy, you might pay this. But, man, that's I guess that's inflation for you. So, so there you go. Barriers are... You need that original disc, and they're really expensive. And I, uh, it sucks, but I cannot uh, tell you why. So you want, so you have. Let's say you have that. Let's say you bought the disc. You have a copy. You you got it wherever you did. The next question is, how do you get this to run? Because it will not run in Windows 10. I have, well, I have no ideas about Windows 11 because we're moving on to that now. I have. I'm not even going to bother checking that. But it will not run in Windows 10, Windows 7, Windows XP, or Vista. Windows 8, it will not work in any of those operating systems. And you're welcome to try, but I, I'm just telling you that I've already tried those and none of them worked. The only operating system that this, that the game will run on after you have it in your CD drive is on Windows 98. And that points up to the little graphic I have above here. Uh, the guest OS, as it's pointed out, as it says there, it has to be a Windows 98 operating system. And... SE is just the latest version of the Windows 98, which is what you would want anyway. So Windows 98, I guess if you have a physical, if you just have a Windows 98 machine lying around, then you're set. You have exactly what you need. Most of us don't. So, or rather, yeah, it's just, it's not common, I imagine. So the next option is you make a virtual machine, a VM, of Windows 98 that is contained on a host operating system. Now I can tell you, again, I've tried installing VirtualBox. Vir so actually, yeah, that leads us to then the next point, using a VM. So there are, there's a, there are different VM um, she, uh, setups you can use, but the one that works with this game is VirtualBox 4.3.40. And that's what I use and that's what I have verified works. That's an old version of VirtualBox. And the reason it has to be this old version is because it, you can get it to run on a more recent version of VirtualBox, but the sound is messed up. Like, it's really, the sound's really bad. To me, it's unplayable. You, right, the whole point of a game like this is to hear the actors voicing their characters, to hear the, the, the voice, voiceover lines. And if you can't hear that properly, and if the sound is just janky in general, it's just not playable. So, so after some research, I discovered that whatever they did with VirtualBox 5 and up broke sound if you have a Windows 98, you know, VM and you want to hear the sound in that virtual machine. So, so that means you have to use this older version of VirtualBox 4.3.40. That's what I verified. And that, that's the, so the next step is, okay, does that run on Windows 10? And the answer, unfortunately, is no. So for whatever, again, VirtualBox, like, like any software, they just stop supporting older systems or rather, Older software stops working on newer operating systems. So in this case, the version of VirtualBox you need will only run on Windows 7. And that's what the host OS note is up there. So, and that's what I have here. So my setup and what I can confirm works. Oh, and if you install VirtualBox 4.3.40, you'll get this little ping that's like, hey, there's a newer version available. You can just click OK and get past that. You don't need, you don't care. At least not if you're trying to play King of the Hill. So, so yeah, what I have here on the side is I have a physical Windows 7 machine. I have a separate desktop machine with Windows 7 on it, and that's the host OS. And then I, so it's, and that's fully set up. Then I have VirtualBox 4.3.40, and that's all set up. And that's, again, going through here, uh, I'll have all these links in the description, but if you want the older copy of VirtualBox, you can find it here on their official site in the old builds section. But then that leads us to the final bit. So let's say, let's say again, you've done all this. You have a virtual Windows 7 machine as a host OS. You install VirtualBox 4.3.40. Then you're ready to set up Windows 98 VM. That, um, if you're used to setting up VMs, this is probably not something you need to worry about. If you're not used to it, there are steps. All right, and again, I'll link to this. Very helpful guide 
in the description, but basically you now need to set up a Windows 98 VM and there are various steps to take because again, like with with like with Windows 7, you want to have the latest version with all the latest updates and, and drivers so that you can, you know, run this game because again, this game released in 2000, so Windows 98 was a little mature by then and it, it had plenty of updates. So basically this guide will walk you through all the software you need to download, all of the settings you need to configure. Um, it looks scary, it looks like a lot, but you really just have to do it uh, once. So keep that in mind. So that takes you, so again, I'll link to this guide. It'll walk you through everything you have to do to get a Windows 98 VM, which will enable you to play King of the Hill PC. <laughs> so that's, that's a whole lot. Uh, and that leads us into Windows 98. So once you have a VM set up, you have this window here. Uh, you can see I have multiple uh, copies. So uh, a lot part of the process is updating the display drivers so that you have, you know, 24-bit or 32-bit color, whatever the, it is going to be. Once you have it set up fully, though, you click on this start or run icon here at the top. It's going to run the VM. The, that, then you'll be in Windows 98 and it'll start up. If your setup ends up like mine, you're going to get bugged about this Ethernet adapter thing, uh, you can cancel out of that. If, if you have Windows 98 set up, but it's bugging you for this, just click cancel and it's going to do some searching bit. And then you just click OK and you click cancel again. And it lets you. Uh, you can see here, messing. messing with some other games on Windows 98 as well, but our focus today is King of the Hill. So after you've done, oh man, it's, 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 it's a lot more, walk, talking through it, it's more than I remembered it being, but yeah, it's quite a few steps. So after you've set up your Windows 98 VM, you've popped your disk into the drive, which I showed you earlier, then you have the game ready to go, right? You click on the CD, it's going to pop up with this thing. Uh, King of the Hill consists of two separate games or two separate executables called Texas Hunting and Hootenanny. So you'll want to install each one separately. Clicking the install here will just take you through the process of uh, actually installing it. Um, so you would just follow the steps and it would finish up the installation. I'm going to cancel because I've already installed it. So we'll skip out of that. And then you end up, yeah, with some shortcuts, such as, uh, you know, let's pull this shortcut back out here. So the two shortcuts that'll matter are for Hootenanny and Texas Hunting. And if you start one up, it should eventually get going. Well, anyway, uh, while I get started, um, that's it. I mean, that's... So that answers the, all of this answers the question of how do you get this game to run so you can play it? And that was it. So it's a whole lot of steps. Again, you need to have a Windows 7 host machine, install VirtualBox 4.3.40, get a Windows 98 VM, have a physical CD-ROM drive, buy the original CD-ROM off eBay or wherever, or obtain it wherever you, you can, and uh, install it and then you can start playing the game. So uh, <laughs> that is a lot. Let me know in the comments if there's any other question I haven't answered about how to get this game to run. Uh, and otherwise, uh, good luck <laughs> in getting this thing going. Uh, see you later. The boy can barely reach it. Now lower the piñata so he has a chance at it. Come on. Oh, cabbage!